Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for didn'thear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a like box to your a Facebook like box to your website, to your .datook website. So, first thing is that if you want to add a like box to your website, I'm assuming that you have a, a Facebook page as well. So, in, in our case here, for the sake of example, I'm going to show my own page, DNN Hero uh, page on Facebook, which is this one here. And what I want to do is, just to give an example is I'm going to show uh, my DNN Hero website. And if we scroll down on the right side, you're going to see this Facebook box here. So this is the like box and it's pointing to my page on Facebook. So how can I go about doing that in, in .NET Duke? Very simple. There is this page here in Facebook that is a developer's page. I'm going to post this link in the video post and you can use that as a, as a reference. And in this page, we just set a couple of parameters, a couple of, uh, of uh, questions. We just, uh, we just answer a couple of questions and it will give us the code to create a, a, a like box. So the first question that we have to, to, to answer is what is my Facebook page ID? So we have to enter this ID here, but how can I find out what is my page ID? Very simple. If you are the owner of the page, you can just go to your page. And if you click on edit, prof edit page, at the top, you're going to see ID equals to, and there is a big number here. So what you're going to do is we, you're just going to copy this big number. And this is the page ID. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to the like box setup page. I'm going to remove the ID that was there before and I'm going to put my ID there. So if I when when I leave that box, it automatically shows up here on the right side. An example how the box will look like. Next parameter is very simple, just the width of the box. It depends on, on how how uh, small or how big the area that I will be placing this box is. So I'm just, just for the sake of example, I'm going to say that this, I will um, use 400 pixels. So when I leave the box, it refreshes automatically and it shows me the, the new dimensions. I can also show how many connections I can, I want to show in my box and connection by connections. Uh, this is the number of people that you want to show uh, that likes your page down here. So here it's set to 10. I'm going to set this to, let's say 12. When I leave, it refreshes and it shows me 12 people here. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Let's, let's make it 350. Yes. Perfect. So that's a, that's a good width. Now I can show the stream of, of, of messages of, of posts, or I can disable that and it will be a lot smaller or I can keep it up to, to you. I'm going to disable that for now and I can show header, find us on Facebook or not. So I can check or uncheck this. I'm going to keep checked. So once I'm happy with that, I'm happy with the layout. What I will do is I'll just click get code. In other get code, there are two ways of, of getting the code. I'm going to go with the iframe approach here. So what I'll do very simple. I'm just going to select the first one under iframe. I'm going to right click and copy this and I'm going to click done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my site and this is just a, a test site, a simple site. I have added a new page and I'm going to add just a simple text HTML module to that page. So text HTML, HTML module selected. I'm going to add to the content pane. Let's click add module. It has been added. To the, to the new page. And what I'll do now, very simple, I'm going to go in, I'm going to edit the content of this HTML module. So I'm going to go to the action menu. I'm going to edit content. When you click on edit content, what are we going to be doing now is we're going to be switching from rich text editor to basic text box. And from here, I can just remove this add content text and I'm going to right click and paste the code that I have copied from 
the Lightbox uh, Facebook page, which uh, has been given to me by Facebook. Facebook. So I have pasted that here. What I'll do now is I'm just going to save this and it's all done. So we now have the Facebook like box in our .NET 2 website. That's basically it, what you have to do to put the like box in your .NET 2 site. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you very much. Bye.